In this example, I will show you how a Markov chain can be integrated into a decision tree so that two Markov chains will represent two treatment options. And based on expected values, we can choose which option is the best strategy. We will consider two options, surgery and medication. If you choose surgery, then the patient can go through three states over the next 10 years. Well, recurrence, dead. If you choose to stay on medication, then you will go through the following dates over the next 10 years. Somewhat good, severe side effect. For well state, you get a 0.89 quality. For the recurrent state, you get 0.5 quality. For dead state, naturally, zero quality. For a somewhat good state, you get 0.68 quality. The severe side effect quality is 0.2. The transition probabilities are shown in this graph. Let's start with the rational will or decision tree software and choose the decision node as the root node. Create two actions, surgery and medication. Select the surgery node and click the M button from the flyover menu to add a Markov model. Now, here is the Markov modeling wizard. Let's create the three states, well, recurrence, and dead, and proceed. In simple words, it is asking, do you want to use action in your Markov model? For this project, we do not have Markov action. Rather, we have only Markov states. So click no. Now you will see the Markov simulation settings page. Here, you can define how many state transitions you want as a cohort simulation. You can specify when to stop the simulation, like when state probabilities do not change more than an epsilon, etc. Now you can set the transition probability from state to state. Here, set your initial state. Click Proceed. Here, the software is asking if you want to set a reward or payoff on a state. Click Yes. Choose the Cost Effectiveness Analysis and Healthcare button. Click this radical box to use a simple, straightforward variable to represent the life year. For this analysis, we do not need to configure cost. Otherwise, you could select the tab and check the box Minimize Cost and other cost-related properties. Now proceed. Now, Set the reward or payoff for the states. Great, the Markov model is completed for the surgery action. In the diagram, notice that the expected value is displayed over the node. Let's create another Markov model for the medication action. Same as before, select the medication node and click this M button to add a Markov model. Now add two states severe side effect, and somewhat good. Set the transition probabilities. Set your initial state. Click Proceed. Yes, same as before, we will set payoff for the states. Click the Finish button. Congratulations, your Markov model is ready for your analysis. We got our complete decision tree with two Markov models. Notice that each action displays expected utility, which was calculated based on Markov simulation. Expand the Options Analyzer panel. Expand the Metric Selection panel and check Expected Quality and see the chart for Expected Quality. We see the medication action got higher expected utility, so medication is recommended. View the cost effectiveness plane. Place mouse over the nodes to get tooltips with useful metrics.
Expand the Markov Analyzer tab, and you can select a Markov node to view the Markov metrics and charts. This is a carousel of various charts that gives various insights. Survival probabilities, probability traces, cumulative state value traces, etc. Select the chart and click this button to open the context menu. See? You can view the data table behind every chart. You can even export the table to Excel. Here, you can get the organized cohort simulation traces from this panel. You can export this table to Excel as well. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please reach out to our help desk if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you for watching.